Welcome to the captain's log, uh, my learning log. Uh, and I've learned three things. I'll tell you, yesterday morning, I got all excited because the rain abated after a very chilly and extended rainy season. And so I decided I'd go sailing and send out a, a message to some crew that lived nearby to come along. And it was a glorious, glorious day. Sunny and they put up the yellow flag, which meant it's uh, kind of a warning for sailing, but for sailors, it's good. Um, and in the end, I encountered three problems. Hey, I'm Lowell. This is Pacific Solo. I have to prepare myself for the greatest challenge of my life, crossing the North Pacific via what I'm calling Nemo North, the place in the North Pacific furthest away from land in any direction, and to take you there with me via this channel. It's not winter rain. Well, I'm going sailing today. It's unexpected because the weather has been so miserable. The rainy season has persisted, but the clouds are broken. The tides are right. The wind is right. And so, um, because on Sundays I try to use it for group sales and say thank you to crew who helped me do various things on board, I just let a few people know who live nearby, who don't have to trek very far, and I've got about four or five of the crew coming. So, it's gonna be a good day. Harbor Master is putting up the yellow flag. You know what that means? That means good sailing. I learned three things yesterday. It all started when I felt really giddy in the morning because the rain had abated after an extended and chilly rainy season and I decided on the spur of the moment I was gonna run up a few crew uh, and go sailing and uh, so I put out the announcement some folks showed up and off we went but it didn't turn out quite the way I expected um, I had three failures of sorts and I learned from all three so Welcome to my learning log. Lesson number one was about the rudder. You may remember I said last time that um, I was beginning to take the rudder off when I left dock, came back into dock. But in fact, um, it was pretty rough out there and to put the rudder on out in the sea proved very difficult. It's in fact impossible on that day. I guess the rudder has to be ever so precise as it slides up before I put to the pin and then the cotter pin. So that was lesson number one. Lesson number two, I need to replace the Genoa and I need to learn how to um, repair it uh, before I replace it. So I'm learning about the Genoa. There was nothing actually, there was no clarity there except I had to go up and actually cut the line that uh, got wrapped around the standing rig from the Genoa.
lesson was regarding climbing the mast. The halyard I use for the mast climber uh, is too close to the mast and therefore I need to change it because it knocked off the mast light mount. Now welcome to the first spreader on SV Wahine. I've come up to put a temporary fix on the mast light and also a deck light. Uh, this um, halyard I've used to hoist myself up on the mast climber, badly positioned because it was actually putting pressure on here and I've snapped it off. So I noticed that yesterday when I had to climb the uh, mast while out at sea because the Genoa got tangled up uh, and uh, I had to come up and I don't know if you can see the little knot up there on one of the standing rigs. So I'm up here now. I put a temporary fix it on it just to hold it in place. The mass light, which is the legal requirement, should still work. The deck light won't work. It's out of its socket. I need to come back up with some tools and drills and drill that back into the mast and then make sure I don't put pressure on it again. So that's me. Uh, meanwhile, there's Wahine below me. There we go. It is hot, jolly hot, which is what summer should be. Uh, I'm not complaining because it's about time. However, I have enjoyed the cooler temperatures, which some have likened autumn. Um, sleeping on the boat at night, it's nice and not so humid. But today, getting up in the 30s, and I'm not even sure what time it is yet. I've been working since about 5 a.m. I think it's about 8.30 a.m. now, and it's now too hot to do any more of that vigorous physical work today, um, at least in a semi-dangerous uh, condition where I'm alone here on the boat and climbing a mast. So now on to other jobs, preparing for coastal cruising coming up in a few days.